Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more of the Pokemon Black 2 Draft. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to go find out more about the PWT. Because we've earned our way there by getting ourselves a gym badge. Well, hello there. If you keep winning, you get BP, yada yada. BP is important, yes we know. What about you, lady? Alright, Pokemon World Tournament ahead. I'm ready to check it out. Uh, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. Oh, those moves are pretty busted. All the dance moves are really good. When a Pokemon learns the move Hidden Power, someone... Oh, you could tell what Hidden Power it is. Alright, cool. Uh, let me see if I have any special attackers I'd like to have Hidden Power. Maybe Coco. What does Coco learn? If this Pokemon would learn Hidden Power, it'd be Ice. Ice! Oh, that's interesting. Everybody calls me... Okay. And you're the move Remember in this game? Okay. Let's see... A heart skill can remember a move. Does Oxide know any moves I don't know about? Let's see. Razor Leaf. Oh, shit. Oh, that's probably worth... Oh, damn it. That's literally the only grass move I'm going to learn. Alright, well, screw it. We might as well learn Ra Razor Leaf. There's no point not to. Naser Razor Leaf for Nature Power? That's sad. I like Nature Power. Rock Tomb. I could always I could always relearn Rock Tomb. Let's get rid of you. Relearning Nature Power would be pretty costly. We need Razor Leaf though. And I'm never lear uh, not learning Fake Out or you know, getting rid of Fake Out. All right, let's see who else can learn a move right now. Um, who would I want to learn a move? Maybe Embryo. Eh, they're all. You know what? I'll wait till they all evolve. That's fine. I think Oxide was the only one that really needed a move. And you're the move forgetter guy. Yeah, you, you like to not remember moves. Good for you. Here we are. What do you think? Great building, eh? Here's the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. Ain't she pretty? Follow me. I was kind of hoping to look outside more. But I guess I'm not allowed to. Okay. Well, fine. Oh, look, it's Sharon, the first gym leader. You were weak. I swept you with a Ted pick I wasn't even going to use on my team. Eight people will be participating, and if you win three times, you're the champion. Why did you call me, too? I'm busy looking into something. You know something, Sharon? The one who's gotten to show everyone that went blood pattern... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You need to show us what Pokemon battles are all like, Sharon. I mean, you beat this guy, Clay, way back when. Alright, go register for the tournament. Q, you go register too. I'll register as well soon. I just want to go... Yeah, I want to do something real quick. Alright, Clay, I'll be right back. I just want to see what people have to say here. I know what battle points do. Thank you very much. You're useless to me. I appreciate it. Uh, you. I know much about strong trainers, so I'll tell you about the gym leaders and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Uh, someday I'll be a famous guy, but for now I'm a spectator. Alright, you do you. Alright, Clay, I'm ready. Let's just get in there. Hello, lady. I'd like to participate. Give me the Drift Bell Challenge. Now, I'm only allowed to bring three Pokemon, so I'm going to bring Oxide, because Oxide has that cool Razor Leaf now. I'm going to bring Embryo as my tank, and I'm going to bring Dingo Dial as my sweeper. Oxide for tactics, Embryos for tank, and then um, Dingo Dial as the sweeper. I think that's a good... A good mix of Pokemon. Yes, I got some weaknesses because of the dark typings, but it'll be fine. So, the people in this cup are Hugh, Cooper, Roddy, Sharon, Butch, Colrus, Caden, and Naomi. And I'm taking on Hugh in the first fight. This might as well be a rival battle, except I don't think we get experience for it, which is lame. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's me, Cooper. This is one of the coolest things about this game, is the, this uh, PWT. This tournament idea was so much fun, and they invite people from everywhere in every region. Every one of your favorite characters exists in this game. It's time for Hugh versus Cooper. And look at that background. That was that's so sick. I wish I was that good at making backgrounds and stuff. I'd freaking do it. All right, let's see what we got. Pokemon trainer Hugh, who are you gonna start with? Dewat. Mm, I start with a grass type, right? You're only level 25 though. That seems, oh, are we gonna get lowered to 25? We're not. That seems a little unfair. I'm not used to having a level advantage. I'm, I'm used to being the guy who's underleveled. This whole series I've been underleveled. And we just learned Razor Leaf. This is so perfect. Aqua Jet is a really solid move to start with. Yeah, Aqua Jet is super solid. Especially since Razor Leaf might kill you with a crit. 
No crit. Okay, no kill. We'll get him in the next attack. Razor Leaf! And Duwat this time did not use Aqua Jet, so they didn't add any extra damage. Alright, the Duwat fainted, and yeah, we're not going to gain any experience from here. Mmm, that bird counters most of my team, so I'm not going to switch. I'm just going to take whatever the bird does and snarl to lower special attack, in case it goes for Air Cutter. Oh, having a level advantage is so nice, we actually outsped them. And yes, Air Cutter, which we actually did make weaker with our Snarl, and it didn't matter because it got a crit. And crits ignore all stat boosts. So, Dingledow, this is where I need you to start sweeping. Yeah, we lowered its special attack, but with a crit, it does just ignore that. So try flinching it. I'm sure you can get that. Oh, Roost. That is quite annoying. And technically, we'll heal forever if I don't get the flinch. But if I do get the flinch, we win the battle. Or if I go for a crit eventually. And I got the flinch. Okay, well, I need two flinches, sadly. It knows detect. Ain't, isn't that fun? All right, well, you can detect me all day. I'm just going to do it again. And we bit the opponent yet again. Another roost because I did not get double flinch. So without double flinch, how the hell do I kill this thing? Look at that. Actually, I did do enough damage. We're fine. As long as I get one flinch, we can win. Yay! That's the flinch that won me the battle. And that's the end, too. Because I'm going to get a moxie boost from this. My par my rival, Hugh, is done for. There's no way they can get us. And I'm going to knock them out in the first round. A very unlucky bracket for Hugh. And there's the moxie boost I've been waiting for. Even a simi- Oh, God, Sage. That happens to be the perfect counter. Damn. Well, I mean, Bite still does good damage, but... It's faster because it's evolved! Damn it, I'm dead. Even with the Moxie boost, I'm dead. So this is now a very close fight, and I'm hyped. Embryo is my final Pokemon, my tank versus his Pokemon. Seed Bomb is one of the best moves in the game for grass types. I hope to get it on my Shift Tree one day. For now, we Bug Bite. You leering me, bro? Lowering my defense is a super smart idea. Well, I'm just going to try and kill you. Hopefully, I do half their health. Okay, good. I can do half. Good job, Embryo. Let's hope they don't get a crit. Seed Bomb with the defense drop will do good damage. It did not do good damage. And my tank wins it for us. That fight was way closer than expected. Luckily for me, my Pokemon were able to keep up. Man, I lost. Yeah, I know. You had a counter for my Pokemon, and then I countered yours. Then you had a counter for my Pokemon, and then I countered yours. It was very interesting. Still, your Pokemon sure look like they're having a lot of fun when they battle. You got that right. My Pokemon and I are having a great time. Alright, time to see how the other matches have gone in the arena. So far, Cooper's made it to semifinals. And, let's see. Sharon was never in any danger. It was an extremely easy victory. Sharon made it to semis, no problem. Butch versus Colrus. That was a lopsided battle. The winner is Colrus. So Colrus had no problems. Now it's uh, Kaden versus Naomi. They were evenly matched. The one who moved a step ahead was Naomi. Good on you, Naomi. All right, let's move on to the next battle. It's time for semifinals. It's going to be Cooper versus the gym leader of normal types, Sharon. In this corner, the young Pokemon trainer battling for his ideals, Sharon. All right, Sharon, you might actually give me some trouble. If I almost lost the battle to freaking, uh, to freaking Hugh, you might actually be stronger. I'm thrilled as I could be to be here. Yeah, I was your first gym battle, that's true. You had just opened up the gym and I was like, hey, I'll challenge you. And then you just lost immediately after that when Hugh showed up. Alright, three Pokemon, a Stoutland fully evolved? What? Who said that was okay? Who said that was legal? I'm actually really going to struggle against the Stalin, and it intimidated me. That's even worse. In fact, this is not a good matchup. I need to save Oxide. So Oxide, you can go for the free damage, because that's what it is. And then we're forced to send in Embryo, because we're literally just not able to kill that Stalin. It's fully a ball for crying out loud. The best thing I could hope for is Embryo gets Poison Point, and then we slowly kill it that way. Oh god, it's going to work up. Oh shit. That means trouble for old Cooper. Alright, well, I can at least try to poison it with Poison Tail in case it keeps trying to work up like it's doing. It's trying to sweep my team, and it's faster than Embryo, which makes sense. It's the tank, but still. I don't know if anyone on my team is faster. I need to get the freaking poison. I need to get crits. Okay, I got the poison, so now I can go for Bug Bites, which is more damage. So now I just gotta hope one single attack doesn't kill me. It knows Tackle, which is not the strongest move in the game. 
but it still does that much damage because of all the buffs. And the Bug Bite's nice, but the next tackle's gonna kill me. Luckily, the poison will drop them quite a bit, and there's no items allowed in here. Healing items, that is. Like potions and shit. Alright, they have Bite. So, I've already lost my tank, and the battle has only just begun. But, I have an idea. If Dingle Dial is fast enough due to the level difference, despite the evolution, I can totally kill this thing, and I will get the Moxie boost. I am faster. Dingle Dial, you're so amazing. Oh, the level difference was what mattered, and the tackle don't work too good when I'm underground, and that guarantees me the kill on Dig. I didn't. I know Bite probably could have killed him too, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna take any risks. Not against this guy. So, Sharon, I got my Moxie Boost started. I don't know if you have a Pokemon to counter me or if you're just normal types. Cincino is a really good normal type if it has Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed makes it super strong, and it's definitely faster. It knows Wake Up Slap! If it has Technician, I'm dead. Uh, it has Technician, I'm dead. Okay. I'm on my last Pokemon, and it's not a good matchup. This game is already over. I am not winning this tournament anytime soon. Oh my god, I must have picked the wrong Pokemon for this. I need more. Everyone's got a Vault Pokemon. I gotta pick a Vault Pokemon. Do I even have a Vault Pokemon? And I'm weak to you, so that means the best I could do is Nature Power somehow get the Freeze. Yep, Wake Up Slap again. With the Technician Boost, Nuzleaf with the HP might survive, but not well. Nope, I don't even survive. Critical hit! And we lose in the second fight against Sharon. That is heartbreaking. Semi-finals, and Sharon actually takes me out with his fully evolved normal types. All right, I respect it, Sharon. I respect it. I ain't even mad. I can understand a loss when I feel it. All right, Clay. I'm guessing I actually have to win that. Oh, I got a blue shard. Ain't that nice? Yeah, I'm guessing they expect me to win that before I can leave this area. So let me see what team I have Pokemon I got. Hmm. Oh boy. Dingle Dial, Tiny. No, all of my guys are unevolved. It's going to be tough no matter what I do. All right, what I can do, though, let's go to our bag. And let's see. Since these are official battles, we won't lose a Citrus Berry for using, uh, if we use one. So let's give this to our Oxide. And then let's switch up who's going to be in the fights. So looking at this again, I will participate. I will go to Drift Bill. I'm going to start off with Oxide still. I think Oxide's good for this. We're going to use Nina this time. Ugh. Dingle Dial Sweeping just doesn't work. It's not fast enough against fully evolved Pokemon. So maybe I just go two tanks, have Nina as one of my tanks, and have Oxide as my other one. It's not the best setup, but it's the best I can think of. All right, let's see if we could try this again. They're definitely going to mix up the bracket, but the opponents are always the same. So even though you see other people, don't worry about them. They're not going to do anything to you. I'm going to try Drift Bell Tournament again. I'm surprised how hard it was on the first attempt. Like, granted, I beat Hugh okay, but um, I did not do good against my next opponent, Sharon. And I don't know if my normal type, I, I, I don't know if my ghost type will do good against his normal types. If his, normal, if his uh, normal types know any dark type moves. We'll see, because I can't use Hex on it. So, Sh Hugh, let's see if you're any good. Because I'm guessing you have the same start. I have the same start. Nothing wrong with my start. Having Oxide up front using Fake Out and Razor Leaf is nice. But I took away my double weakness to fighting. That's, that's part of what I thought was important. Alright. And then Razor Leaf seems to work out pretty well in this battle. Aqua Jet sucks, but we'll take it. Alright, raise a leaf. Ooh, okay, good damage. And one more should finish him off if it's anything like the last fight. But this fight, he actually learned to double Aqua Jet. Smart man. Very smart. Come on, Nuzleaf, show them your power. Yeah, learning a grass type move is gonna help you out so much. And Tranquil, as we already seen. And we know it's gonna air cutter, so let's go ahead and lower its special attack. If it gets a crit, we die. If it doesn't, we might survive. No guarantees anywhere, but, uh, ooh, it taunted this time. I really appreciate that. So instead, we got a double Aqua Jet, but no Air Cutter this time. Which means double Snarl, which means no crit, and I'm safe. 
roost. Oh, you're going to do that to me too, huh? Well, I'll just ruin your special attack stat then. Fine by me. Granted, I can't kill you if you just spam roost, but I could go for nature power and find a way. Alright, going for the freaking detect. Ain't you a jerk? I'm a grass type. You know what you have to do. You did it to me in the last fight. All you have to do is do a little bit of air cutter. Alright, there it is. It's already got like zero special attack, but yeah. With all the nerfs, you're going down. And my citrus berry kicks in, so look at that. You, can ta you can't taunt me anymore, but let's just do this again. And it almost died, which means Roost will really suck right now. Yep, that really sucks. Even if I am ruining your special attack, if I can't kill you, what's the point? Not like my other Pokemon could kill you any faster, though. Alright, Oxide, just keep doing, going for it. Maybe we'll get a crit. Maybe that'll change things up. Because I'm guessing you're going to spam Roost. Yeah, you jerk. I can't believe you've done this to me. Oh, my God. Alright, well, maybe I'll go for Nature Power to see if I can get the... Freeze, burn, or paralyze. All three could be helpful here. I think the most helpful would be like a freeze. Alright. Nature power does less damage as expected, but we'll take what we can get. Like I said, we don't we, we're not gonna get the kill, so we might as well go for a tactical move. It's not like tri attacks doing zero damage, it's actually pretty damn decent. I gotta respect the damage. And taunt again. Oh my gosh. Wonder if I get a crit with Snarl that would kill you. Let's try that. Oh, I finally missed. That's unlucky. Yeah, Snarl does have that 5% chance of missing, so it's gonna happen one day. Now, hopefully that means I won't miss another 100 times now. That would be nice. Oh, wow, Taunt. I did not know Nature Power was locked off by Taunt. That's interesting. I will, uh, I will take it. And another air cutter. If it's a crit, I die. If it's not a crit, I take no damage. So, we're cool. I'm running out of snarls. That is not good. He's roosted so many... Healing moves like this should never have more than 5 PP. Like synthesis and roost. Yeah, those, could, those should never have more than 5. Alright, the taunt wore off so I could try to do this again before I run out of uh, snarls. I don't need to run out of those after all. I can't believe how much longer the bird fight's taking now. All because I sent Sandal back into the box. Well, not even in the box there. Just not in my top three right now. Taunt, okay. Yep, you fell for the taunt, which means you're forced to snarl now. And I missed again! Wow! That's extremely unlucky to miss snarl twice in one battle. It's a 5% at, um... At 95% accurate move, it should not miss very often. Like, at all, pretty much. Granted, it's been a long battle, but still. Okay, let's see. Alright, I'm starting to feel like this fight is useless to me. If we need to go... If we're forced to go for tactics, we would go... Oh, we would go with Embryo. Or, you know what? Let's go with Nina. I have an idea with Nina. It's not a great idea, but it's an idea. Yeah. You could just keep roosting. I don't care. If you're, if you're, if the game's gonna give roost like freaking ten or fifteen PP, then I need to just go for something else, and that is paralysis. Because if you get paralyzed and confused, then it'll be much harder for you to stop me. Granted, you do have taunt, but taunt won't work if uh, you know this hits. And I have Psybeam now, so Psybeam should do some decent damage. Not a lot, but decent, because you are middle form at least. Air Cutter should do zero damage. Three damage, sorry. I guess you're allowed to do three. And now you got Parafused, so good luck. The odds of breaking out of this are extremely difficult, so let's see. Are you going to bleed the confusion? You are, and you managed to taunt me through it all. So you actually broke through, and you decided to use taunt. Well, that's fine. I'm going to use Psybeam. And you're trying to detect me right now, and you can't. Well, at least your defense is not as good as your attack. And Psybeam does decent damage. Okay, now your roosts don't matter to me. And you're about to try and roost, aren't you? Okay, come on, come on. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yeah, there we go. And we know your last Pokemon is a Simi Sage, which we could definitely beat with our last three Pokemon. In fact, I might not lose a single Pokemon to Hue this time. Oh, I'm still taunted. Shit. Oh, maybe I can get the confusion with Psybeam and then I'll Hex. Leer, do you have Bite? 
The monkeys might have bite. I wonder. With my Eviolite, I'm too tanky, but we'll see. Oh, I got a crit and the confusion! Yep! Psybeam was 100% worth. Now I'm going for Hex. And Seed Bomb. With the defense drop, this will hurt. That did way more than expected. And, you know, you are faster than me. That's pretty scary. Let's hope that confusion kicks in. I want to win with all three Pokemon. Yeah! We're winning with all three Pokemon. That's it, everybody. Confusion kicks in. Nina wins. You've become way too tough. You bet your ass I have. I'm literally sweeping people. The winner of the first round is Cooper. Yep, they're looking like they're having fun, but I got to be real careful. My next opponent's a cheater. He likes to work up. Which means that uh, starting off with my... Yeah, starting off with my... my what is his name? Freaking Nuzleaf is not going to be too good. Alright, Sharon, your team is actually pretty scary, I have to admit to you. I hate saying it out loud, but... Having a Cincino, having a... Um, whatchamacallit? Having a... A Stoutland this early of the game? That's kind of cheating, sir. But I'm going to let it pass because I want to beat you. So now I'm not really scared of you because I'm not weak to fighting anymore. But it was Sandile and, oh, I guess Oxide mostly, that took out your pup. So I'm going to let Nuzleaf take the, you know, the Intimidate. That's part of the plan. We're going to get the free fake out out. And then we're going to switch in, which sadly will probably happen into a work up. And then we're just going to hope we get poison again. If we don't get poison again, we're in trouble. So let's do this again. I could also go for nature power, but um, I don't trust it. Why do I feel like there was no intimidate this time? It's strange. There's no way he changed abilities, so my brain must have turned off or something. Alright, it is using work up again. Nothing's changed. Um, I'm going to need to go ahead and use a poison tail. Because if I don't poison this guy, we might not win this fight. Got to tackle immediately. Okay, things have changed. They went for an immediate tackle, which means Poison Point kicks in. Then I'll, Now I'm just hoping for the crit, then. Poison Tail has a high crit chance on top of its poisoning ability. I did not get that. So, the tackle will kill... They'll kill me in two tackles, or they're going to build up their stats with another workup. Either way, I have enough time to get the poison in. Unless they get a crit, but let's just hope, you know, Embryo can take it. Nice! Good job, Embryo. Let's bite our way to victory. All right. Good freaking job. And now if he even tries to wake, uh, waste time using a workup, we'll kill him. Oh, man. We know it's going to be a tackle, but I'm not going to... Okay, I was going to switch into my Misdreavus, but I was like, if he uses Bite, I wasted my Misdreavus. And I really don't want to waste my Misdreavus, so... Even though I could have send Embry saved Embryo for a little bit, I'm decided against it. I'm going to send in Nita now. Because we know if I send in Nuzleaf that they're even if we fake out, get the kill, yada yada, they're just going to die to the next attack. I believe Nina can outspeed this dog. That's how much belief I have. Yes! Nina is probably the fastest Pokemon on my team. She can do it. We got a critical hit, which might have mattered. Who knows? And Watchhog. Ah, oh, this one knows Bite for sure. So this was his other Pokemon. And this one might be able to outspeed me, so we're going to need the Thunder Wave. Nope, Nina's the fastest thing alive. So we're going to Thunder Wave this Watchhog, expecting a Bite. Bites are horrifying, but we'll do what we have to do. It's paralyzed, so we got lucky. Um, expecting the bite, we're not going to force Nina to fight this Pokemon. We're going to let Oxide get in. Because Oxide has no use against the last Pokemon except one Fake Out. And one Fake Out's not going to do much, so... It's using Work Up as well. That's fine. As long as it's paralyzed, I can hit them first. Um, my moves will probably help me out more. Although him increasing his stats should always be concerning. And it is still concerning. Now, I'm thinking Razor Leaf has the same accuracy as Snarl, so I might as well go for that and go for the high crit chance. Screw lowering the special attack, go for the kill. Oh, Paralysis! Yes, Paralysis! You gotta love it. Gotta love when that Paralysis works out. Ooh, that's so nice. Alright, one more Razor Leaf! And we killed the Watchhog, which means now we might actually have a use for Oxide. Knowing that Cincino did this to us once before, they're most likely going to go for the Wake Up Slap. And Nina can take the Wake Up Slap for free. And then we could use the Thunder Wave. So this is a really good matchup for us. That was not part of the plan. 
That was super not part of the plan. Why in the hell would they use sli I can't believe this. And they're faster than they know Bullet Seed. I was right about them knowing Bullet Seed from last time. All right, two hits. Okay, it's only two hits. We could take that. Nina, you'd think getting shot in the face by some seeds would wake you up, but no luck. Work up! Okay, that's where the battle ends. I might get swept. I can't believe this thing landed. Like, that's like a 60 accurate move. And Nina woke up. Okay, with the paralysis, there's a small chance we can win this. But honestly, I'm going to need to confuse this Pokemon as well. There's no way we win without it. Because the workup makes its attack stat so scary that it can one-shot my entire team. If it gets five hits on Nina, and if it, uh, one wake-up slap will kill my, my Nuzleaf. That's just, that's just a fact. And as you can see, its attack stat is way higher than its defense stat. Let's just go for our free side beams. Nina, you are carrying this team. You put them on your back, and you're carrying them to victory. Sentino's struggling again. Parafusion is the worst thing that could happen to a Pokemon. And we beat Sharon, everybody. We're going to the finals of the PWT. All right. Fantastic. Your Pokemon and you have grown so much. Thank you, Sharon. You're so kind. The winner of the second round is Cooper. Yeah, you better believe it's Cooper. I made it where I am because the Pokemon were by my side. All right, let's check how the other things are going. We already know who we're fighting. It's going to be Colress. Come on. It was a one-sided battle for Colress. Uh, in this showdown at the summit, Cooper is the one who... Yep, Cooper's randomly going to the finals. He beat a gym leader. He beat a rival. He, can he beat a villain? Well, former villain. Semi-villain. Villain, adj villain adjacent. I don't know. All right. Now, Colris, my team is not really well built to take you on. This is a, I wish I had my Sandile right now. Because you love you some Steel types. And Sandile would have loved that. But the rest of my team members are very bad against Steel types. But it was the only way to beat this guy. Alright, this is going to be a really tough fight, guys. I hope I find a way to win this. Despite the fact that I don't have a good... Uh, a good team for it. Not I don't even have Zorua. Zorua at least knows Dig. Alright, who's first? Magneton! It shouldn't even be evolved yet if it's 25. Oh crap. Oxide, this is a terrible matchup. Granted that there is no good matchup in this case. Alright, best thing we could do is fake out. Knowing that everything he's gonna have is a steel type, we might as well just stay in. Oxide has no advantage against anything. We just go for the special attack drops and hope he doesn't go for Thunder Wave. Oh my god, I have I don't even have Rock Smash anymore. Thunder oh god, he went for Thunder Wave. Alright, well, that lets me know exactly what he plans to do to my whole team. Well, if I can lower his special attack enough, I have an idea, but it's not a good one. Mirror Shot. How much damage does that do? Way too much. I don't know what Mirror Shot even is. It's a steel type move, but. I have no memory of it, and I don't know how that special attack was so high. Mirror shot again, I avoided the attack at least, okay. Oxide, I'm really believing in you here. You got them to half health, which is really impressive. The fact that you got them to half in this kind of a fight. Mirror shot number th two, let's see how much it does. Okay, those uh, special attack drops are coming in handy. The citrus berry kicks us back up, but the paralysis kicks in, that's unlucky. It's okay, uh, it's okay Oxide, I understand. Mirror shot yet again. It's gonna drop us back to the same HP we were just at, basically. What did you drop? Accuracy? Oh, Jesus. Mirror shot has a really good effect of dropping accuracy. Magneton's getting kind of low, though. Getting to a point where we might be able to kill it. If uh, we had a better Pokemon for this situation. And all these snarls are making this mirror shot way weaker. Ah, oh, they avoided the attack. It's done. Alright, we are out of here. Nuzleaf is dead. We're at a Pokemon disadvantage in the finals. Ooh, we're mostly at a Steel-type disadvantage. My entire team is not good against Steel. But I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good one. We're going to find out. But I have an idea. There's a move that I know called Rollout. And if they never paralyze me, or confuse me, then this Rollout could become devastating for the enemy team. I'm actually a little surprised that Magneton outsped me. And it missed twice. I got very lucky twice. And I missed. Never mind. Rollout's useless if you miss. And I happen to miss, so. Mirror Shot, at least it stopped doing Supersonic. 
Let's see if it does any damage. No, it does no damage. So this works out really well if I could do the rollouts and build them up. This is one way we can knock out two Pokemon and then make it somewhat of a fair fight. They missed the mirror shot. If I just never miss the rollout, we can do this. In fact, there's a rival battle that happened, I believe, in week three and week two where rollouts were just dominating. So I need to... I need to be able to do this. By the same rival, too. Rival Danny. They know what they're doing when it comes to rollouts. They have a damn good Pokemon for it. Okay. We built up three rollouts. We're on the fourth rollout. This move should be enough damage to do half the health of whatever he sends in. Elegym? That's not even a steel type. I was wrong. He doesn't run just steel. I'm faster. Yes. Rollout should definitely kill up four stages. It didn't kill. Okay. Growl's useless. All right, well, the fifth rollout is about to be wasted. If it had killed the Elegym, we might have stand a, stood a chance. But my attack stat is not great in my for, in my uh, cocoon form. Oh, we killed the Elegym, but it took every rollout. Which means the next type coming out is going to be a Steel type. Clink. Oh, it's a baby still. Okay, at least that's not evolved. And if that's not evolved, the best thing I could do is roll out again. In hopes that it works. Yeah, we know it's going to do like nothing in the beginning. They're charging, which raises special defense, which is very bad for our next Pokemon. We definitely don't want our next Pokemon to have to face a special defensive monster. But it also increases the power of their next electric move. So that means they're probably planning on an electric move right now. Charge again. Oh my god, they're going to be unkillable for Mistrevis. Mistrevis is going to have to find a way to kill them in a different way. Or these rollouts are going to have to come in clutch. All right, roll out. Yes, roll out number three. This is where the damage starts getting recognizable. Oh my god, it's doing nothing. Triple charge! They know they're setting up for Mistrevis. They are 100% setting up for Mistrevis. Oh my god, this is the fourth roll out. This one should be near death when it comes to damage. All right. A fifth rollout has to kill. The fifth rollout is maximum damage. All they've done is charge. But they know that if this fifth rollout doesn't kill, then I have nothing left. Fifth rollout, the strongest move in all of Pokemon, and it kills the Clink. We have won the PWD, sorry, PWT Drift Veil Cup. The winner is Cooper. Yeah, baby. You gotta trust your Pokemon. Just as I expected, your Pokemon just must be are happy just to be by your side. I bring out the best in them, don't I, Colrus? You're actually really good, Colrus. Making it to the finals and whatnot. Congratulations on winning the tournament, Cooper. As a result, you get battle points. A single point. Which can buy you absolutely nothing. We hope to see you again. An outstanding battle, Runts. Now everybody's going to want to join in this tournament here. Oh, Roxy shows up. Hey, you two. Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show me? Guess I'll have to see when I enter the tournament myself. That's right. The gym leaders in this game will show up to the tournaments as well. All right, Sharon, that was a good fight. We had a good one. All righty. Well, looks like I'm finally allowed. Oh, wait, I think Colrus was there. I should at least talk to Colrus. Damn it. I barely recognized you and Cooper. You two are way different than you were in Asperia Town. Team Plasma, what are you doing? What was that just now? I'm going to go after him. Come with me. Stop. There's no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, my little sister's poor learn. It, mu it might be with them. I'm going to. I've got his back. Okay, good. A gym leader actually sticking up for a trainer. Isn't that nice? I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because Pokemon is with him? No. All trainers of Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. That may Then maybe it, it is the bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible. I trust my Pokemon, sir. Alright, I never got to check out the rest of this area. Uh, let's see. You can train... Oh, I have no starter Pokemon. This is actually pretty good since we actually do have a lot of starters in this series, but I have none. Alright, the crowd will be going wild for my Pokemon. A helmet is important. Rocky helmet! This is one of the best items we can get. Some of the rivals that have rough skin are gonna go we're gonna have so much fun with that. 
Oh, the pledge moves. Can I learn any pledge moves? I wonder if that'll be good. None of my Pokemon can learn pledge moves. Okay, well, whatever, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the PWT tournament. And I might do more of those when we get to the post game. So, yeah, should be a fun time. Either way, bye-bye, and thank you all for watching.